Hi, welcome back to Shannon's Plants Planting Time. How are you this evening? Well, it's actually 4.15 in the morning, which is my normal rising time. And if it isn't obvious, today we are going to talk about the prayer plants, um, specifically the Maranta. Um, I have two species in front of me. This is the red vein Maranta, and this is the plain green Lucanura Maranta. And both of the care of these is, of course, the same because they are just different types in the same uh, genus. So it is named for an Italian physician and botanist of the 16th century. And he was a botanist who studied nomenclature and was credited with naming a lot of plants, among it the Marantas. So um, the name prayer plant comes from the fact that it folds upward at night like it's praying, revealing its beautiful underside. And this is called Nectinacy. So it is not unique to Maranta. Calathea also do this. And um, Stromanthe and other um, plants in that family also do the uh, Nectinacy at night. So, anyway, we're going to talk about some general care of the Maranza plant. Um, I find these to be much easier to care for than Calathea. The myth of the Calathea um, still eludes me. I, with the exception of my rattlesnake Calathea, I cannot keep them happy. So, let's talk about care of the Maranza. They thrive in medium to lower light, definitely indirect light. You don't want to give these fellas direct light as it can scorch their delicate leaves. Um, as far as watering goes, you want to allow that top halfway down to fit, uh, dry out before you water them, but they do like more moisture than other plants and maybe not as much as I give my calathea. I know that is, it seems like I'm trying to be elusive, but I'm not. Uh, the, what I'm trying to say is the Maranta can withstand drying out to me personally more than the calathea can. But that bothered me so much when I first started into plants and they said keep them moist but not soggy because I was like, what the heck is that? So anyway, I promise you will learn to walk that fine line. And as you can tell, this plant was about the size of this plant or smaller when I got it. And he is just sprawling. They love humidity. However, normal room humidity is okay for these guys. I do have a humidifier in the plant room that I have them in and humidity runs about 60 to 70 percent and I think it helps. And I have these further away from the humidifier than I do my Calathea and Strianthi. Um, as far as temperature goes, it's one of those things where if you're comfortable, they're comfortable. Any between anywhere between 65 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit or 18 to 30 degrees Celsius. Um, it's best not to let them go below those bottom numbers, 60 to 15, 60 degrees Fahrenheit to 15 degrees Celsius. Um, so, what the other thing I was going to talk about is propagation on these guys because. To look at them, you might think that they don't have, and they don't have the traditional nodes that you see on other plants, 
However, they do have these elbows. And what I mean by that is you see where this group of plants, of leaves, um, join at this elbow. If I get my hand out of the way, maybe you can see it right here. That is where you would want to cut. And they are very easy to root in water or sphagnum. But you just make that cut at that little elbow joint. And that is your node on the Maranta. And then I plot this. My preferred method for Maranta is in water. And they root rather quickly. And then you can have lots of Maranta babies. And so I have a ton of these around because they are so easy to root. I was confused at first because I did not see the traditional node that you see on other plants. However, I watched a couple of videos and I learned how to do it and it is actually quite easy once you do it the first time. So, and these guys do flower and that's what you see me cutting off is these little um, flower spikes that have gone out. Um, he flowered a couple of weeks ago. I wish I could have gotten them while they were flowering. The flowers are not uh, that great. Uh, what you buy the plants for is the foliage. And yeah, so really when you break it down, it's super, they're super easy to care for. Like I said, I find them much more accommodating than the Calathea. And so if you want to get into prayer plants, my suggestion would be to start with Maranta. Start with Maranta. I don't know why I'm doing that. Anyway, probably because it's late at night and I feel silly. So anyway, yeah, give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down depending on what you think. And, um... Leave me a comment below. Um, I love to read your comments, and uh, I would love to hear if you have any questions. Hope this video helped you with your Maranta care. And as always, I hope to see you in the next houseplant video. Bye.